Studio Series Wave 6 in under 60 minutes. Let's go. At the time of this recording, I have just finished Wave 5. It's uploaded, ready to go, but no one's seen it yet other than a patron who said, pretty good, bro. I thought, let's just kind of box off Wave 6 because this is a short hour video. Just getting straight into it, I guess we'll start with Studio Series 37 Rampage in over 60 seconds. Let's go. It's a bulldozer. Would you, would you really want me to say it's a bright red bulldozer? In fact, it's not even bright red. It's just a red bulldozer. Detailing's not nice functionality is nice uh, i still don't know if i'm transforming the hands here at the back correctly i appreciate the fact that it's got storage for the accessory for the stand i don't really know it looks the part got nice paint i i think that about sums up my feelings on this uh on this bulldozer mode so um let's just get on to the actual interesting part about rampage so rampage's transformation is fairly straightforward all of it's in the treads essentially because as soon as you get past the treads everything just sort of comes all together full circle of course in transforming and there's one thing you absolutely cannot forget do not forget to move the pistons from the shovel which is now an his back into the thumbs form pistols alrighty so rampage in robot mode what am I supposed to say about this it's meant to be rampage who was a pogo stick in the second movie and his whole thing was he bounced around everywhere and he was angry and he had a brief scene with bumblebee in, sorry, he had a scene with Bumblebee and that was all he did in the movie. His articulation is, uh, he's a f***ing pogo stick, what do you expect? He's got butterfly joints, he's got shoulders, he's got some nice finger articulation, he's got a head that can look round and he's got a double jointed waist, along with, uh, I don't even know, I don't even know how to break down this guy's posability, so he's got two ratchet joints and a swivel in his waist area. And that that's it, you can make him look a bit more hunched over, you can make him look tall and proud, and that's it. I think one thing worth mentioning is in his robot mode the detail in his torso area here is the wrong way around and is actually the detail in for the bulldozer mode and vice versa i don't really know what to tell you rampage is just such a f***ing oddity i like the design because it's something different but it's one of these where like if someone said the design is shit, i can't fault it like, this is probably the best toy we're ever going to get of this design, unless they do an MPM. I need to stop saying that. That's pretty much a summary of the Bayverse in a nutshell. He's fun for what he is, if you like the Constructicons. If you don't, you don't, and I'm not going to disagree or argue it, because it's like, these are very much an acquired taste. I do actually have a video review of this guy on my channel. I will link to it. And you guys can go check that out because I liked it until I didn't and then I just got very tired of it and I think it's very overrated. Also, just as a quick aside, you know, between this one and the last one, I actually did a super secret little video review of SS36 Drift with the Dinobot. Here's a little sneak peek of that. Joe Asbro is refusing to answer my letter. Now, that video is available to patrons for £3 a month. Yeah, if you're interested, link's in the description. But if that's not something you're able or willing to do, then please consider just liking, sharing, commenting on the video, subscribing to the channel, all that good, spicy sh**. And I think that's it for what I wanted to just quickly interject for now. Let's get back to the review. Okay, this still isn't what I can talk about. The only reason I didn't get Cogman is because he's just a very premium repaint of the figure from the last night. And I have no issues with my last night copy. That last night one was a pain in the to get my hands on i wasn't interested in swapping him out if he's anything like this one he's a nice figure and you're doing well to have him studio series 40 shatter in over 60 seconds let's go people always take the p out of the way i say shatter i don't like it so shatter is the car shatter and i i'll be honest i really like this muscle car mode i like the fact that it's got the extra detail and with the roller cage and the engine block i like the fact that it's got good clearance where the wheels are uh, my only gripes in this vehicle mode are probably one the feet at the back where you can't do anything to kind of tuck them away or minimize the impact of their existence and two the arms on the underside don't really have any dedicated way of tabbing in they just kind of do when it suits yeah solid car mode so as i begin to transform shatter one of the things that kind of pisses me off about this transformation is like the ball joints in the shoulders and the little tiny bits that are clipped on i don't know what they're called it doesn't matter they're just so ineffective and they just pop off at any slight thing it's not something i'm gonna lose my mind over because you know this transformation bit is very annoying then as soon as you get to the legs it's like everything's fairly straightforward from there twisting pinning or unpinning and just you know it's just moving everything into place and it all it's all pinned together so you don't have any problems i don't know what do you want me to say i'm sorry and i will apologize to joe hasbro in the form of financial contributions i imagine by this point omega prime's already been funded and i'm probably just 
coping and seething myself into a f***ing coma. But hey, at least I'm getting Omega Prime, so that's pretty good. Okie dokie, so... Shatter in robot mode. This is where everyone kind of has their issues. So talking over the minor sh**, the head's the wrong head. And that's pretty much about the gist of it for the minor sh**. Talking about the major sh**, the figure itself has n very limited articulation and very limited tolerances. You know, like I mentioned about the shoulders taking absolutely f call to pop off but it's also just like limited articulation you know it's like you can't really position the arms in a meaningful way the legs are very limited in what they can do the backpack doesn't really tuck out of the way and is in fact unnecessarily huge but uh, you know something i kind of like it for what it is i kind of wish i got the jet shatter because apparently you could swap the heads and i think with an accurate head i might have been a bit more forgiven to this one because it would look less like a generic villain or it would look less like nightbird but hey i'm not here to uh pick that fight this is just a strange figure i get why people wouldn't like it but at the same time i think there's a bit of overreaction keep in mind i think this is also the first figure from bumblebee which hasn't been a walking f***ing disaster obviously we're not talking about optimus because he's a voyager and he's an optimus this is following in the footsteps of the helicopter drift and the volkswagen bumblebee yes this is an improvement i don't care what anyone says you know she looks well with the bumblebee stuff even when they were still pumping it out five years on uh, yeah i don't i don't have any major issues i can see why people would but i can make peace i don't think she's jar worthy though Studio Series 41 Scrap Metal in over 60 seconds, let's go. Alrighty, the last figure of this wave. I told you guys it'd be a short one, in and out like that. Absolutely no dramas. So, for anybody who doesn't know, Scrap Metal is an excavator of some description. He's dinky, he's little, he's fun, he's completely inoffensive. He was also scalped to all f so good luck getting one. Clearly, like I said, he's some sort of excavator, so he has the functionality of... You can move the, the bucket around, the arm. The arm can do stuff. Also, it's on wheels. That's fun. Yeah, he covers up everything well. He looks good for what he is. Uh, there's a code printed on him. I can't remember what these codes are, but he's got one. Maybe we could pretend they're prison tattoos from the early days of the war. Mind you, this guy does get ripped to f***ing pieces like he's in prison. That's what happens when you throw the soap in the showers. Don't go to prison, kids. You're won't take it. So his transformation begins by removing this random fucking fucking hell, I can't. So his transformation begins by removing this random panel before everything just kind of spreads. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. Nothing gets in the way of each other. Yeah, there's a bit of fidgeting around the shoulders, but that's just more stiff ball joints and stiff swivels than any sort of actual problems. It's a straightforward, nice transformation. You remember how I described Bone Crushers as being very G1? That's how the these constructor cons have felt very g1 very straightforward and now we've got scrap metal in robot mode it's weird to have a toy of a constructor con who we never really got before and he's just a dinky little guy you know taken before his time he didn't deserve that ending that he got given that's not fair does he got a case of the gorilla hands maybe maybe he's just got clamps double jointed elbows he's got nice hips he's got he's got the old chicken legs he's got good detail in which someone pointed out that's the same detail in his black Zarek. How kooky is that? Wow, Joe Asbro. Keep it quirky, girl. Outside of that, like, there is a bit of an issue in this mode with some paint chipping. I think you can see some of it on the face. Failing that, you can definitely see it around the shoulders. He's fine. I wish there was more to say about this guy. He's just solid for what he is. Like, this is the thing about this wave. I guess that's me into closing thoughts, by the way. Like, that's the thing about this wave. I, everything is either solid without defense or solid with a bit of defense. Of the three waves they did in 2019, I kind of forget about this one more than I should because between the mammoth waves five where you got dark and moon megatron and bone crusher and jetfire and another optimus and then this follow-up wave coming soon where you get another optimus and long haul and a f***ing nitro zeus repaint and some other sh this one just plods along nicely it does its job it holds its own and it kind of makes me think this year was actually really solid like a lot more solid than i give it credit for not to give too much away but we continue to climb from here and i can't wait to get to some of these later waves the studio series around this time was really fun and i'll probably say 2019 was one of the better years because i'm recording this so soon after i don't think i've got anything other than check out the socials in the description and i will see you guys next time goodbye